What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be bringing you guys an Origin Palkia team for Regulation G. Now when it comes to regular Palkia versus Origin Palkia, there is one slight difference. That is going to be their attack and speed stat. Regular Palkia has base 120 attack with base 100 speed, whereas Origin Palkia has base 120 speed and 100 attack. So Origin Palkia outspeeds Palkia by a nice 20 total stat points. Absolutely amazing. Another slight difference that they do have is when you're using regular Palkia in competitive battles, you can hold any held item, whereas Origin Form Palkia has to be holding the Lustrous Globe, which actually is not a bad item. 20% boost in Dragon and Water moves. Gotta love it. But this Palkia over here is Rockin' Telepathy. Can't get hit by ally Pokemon, so Lava Plume on Chiyu, and Explosion on Metagross going to work wonders. Furthermore, the move set for this Palkia is going to be Spatial Rin, Hydro Pump, Protect, and Earth Power, a solid move set with two stab moves and one big time coverage move. Like I mentioned, we already have Lava Plume Chiyu, but what I didn't mention is we also have Wall Baked Body Dox Bun, so solid little combo there. You guys probably seen it earlier in the Scarlet and Violet days. It works really, really well. Another Pokemon that I already mentioned is going to be Explosion Metagross. We can pair that up to next uh, uh, Telepathy Palkia, take no damage from that Pokemon, and just explode and get some big time damage off. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Rillaboom and Tornadus. Rillaboom, you can never go wrong. You got Fake Out, you got Terrain Control, you got Grassy Glide and Woodhammer, and then Tornadus, great for support. You got Weather Control, you got Speed Control. You gotta love it. Guys, you wanna rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Origin Palkia in Regulation G. Now, the team that we are using in today's video is made by my boy Zol Rain. Zol Rain, huge shout out to you. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth or check out Zol Rain's channel, make sure you guys head down the link in the description below. All the links will be down. There. But we're going up against a Kyogre team here in match number one. And honestly, Palkia counters or resists water really, really well. But look at that special attack set 220 with 169 speed. Woo! Solid. Real solid. But yeah, definitely got to watch out for Kyogre and the Rain Squad. We can't really do much up against Rain, but I can take Terrain Control right off the rip, which is not bad. It is not bad. I could honestly just go Rillaboom and go in with Palkia. And maybe just start attacking. We could bring Tornadus in the back end if we want to. That's not a bad call for us, especially because we do have Choice Scarf Chiyu, and I am going to end up doing that. So we're going to go for a hard, heavy hitting lead with Tailwind in the back end, and that's something that I do like. They do have my shell, so they could fake me out, but I'll probably just fake out Palky at that point, and then I could just start ripping with, uh, with Rillaboom. All right, we'll see. We'll see what they want to go into. They could also just go into Kyogre and Tornadus, which would be a slight issue. It definitely would be. And they're going to go My Shao Kyogre, which is not bad for us. I mean, again, we can fake out the Kyogre. My Shao can fake us out. But I can just go into Spatial Rain. But look how big Palkia is. Just like Origin Form Diablo. This Pokemon is massive. And it's on the right side of the screen. I should never put this Pokemon on the right side. It just takes up too much of the screen. It really does. But My Shao comes out here, and I believe it outspeeds the Rillaboom. Which is a slight issue, because it can just fake out the Rillaboom. And then Kyogre can get off its move. So you, honestly, I'm, I might just double protect here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to double protect and just read out what he's going to do. Because they have fake out control. He can just fake out the roll boom and honestly just ice beam it. And that's what I think he's going to do. I maybe should have made the read and just went spatial win into Kyogre. But we'll see. We'll see. There's fake out and it's going to go into the roll boom slot. Yeah. See, I knew it. I knew it. And are, are you double down with ice beam? You are. I knew it. I should have just went for spatial win. Could have been a hot read for us early on in this match. Um, I think now we just straight up attack this Kyogre by doubling down into it. Or, I mean, it could Terrasalize. I'm going to double down into it. I don't think it protects. I don't think it protects. I think it's Choice Scarf, if anything. Let's be honest here. So, he ends up withdrawing Kyogre. Who are you going to go into? Because we're doubling down into the slot, which is pretty solid for us. And you're going to go into who? Archer Ludon, we don't mind that. We don't mind that. Because I got Grass Guy doing negative six damage. But I have a nice big time special attacking move following through. Spatial Ren. You're gonna go for knockoff here. Into my boy. Into my robo. Getting rid of my clear amulet. The spatial ren flying through here. Love this move so much. Can we just get a crit? We don't, but I love the damage output there. I do love the damage output. So that's some big time damage. We have speed compared to him. Um 
My shout could take out our Lustrous Globe, which is kind of annoying, but I'm just going to go for Woodhammer here. Do some monster damage to that thing, and then just keep following in with Spatial Rens, right? Accuracy's 95. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep following in with Spatial Ren. That's going to be my play. So we'll see if he wants to swap out or what he wants to do. He could honestly just protect Archaludon and knock off Palkia's Lustrous Globe item. Which I would kind of hate because I want that 20% boost in damage. It's just really, really nice. And we're going to see a Terra type pop out here. Oh, are you Fairy? Are you a Fairy Terra? You're definitely Fairy. Okay, it's My Shout. Never mind. My Shout's going to go straight fighting. Okay. So My Shout into the fighting type. We're hoping they're not targeting down my Rollaboom because I would love to land a nice big time wood hammer here. You are going to go for close combat into Rollaboom. Rollaboom, you're dead. You are dead. Kind of hurts the soul, but I do get rid of Arch Luda. I do get rid of Arch Luda. So honestly, I can now bring out Tornadus and just get some speed going for the squad. Their Spatial Man get rid of Arch Luna. We're not dealing with that thing being bulked up. And they're leaving my Palky here at 3 HP. So see you later, Arch Ludon. They could bring back out Kai Ogre. Um, we still have Terra type, which is solid. And I think now is just a great time to bring out our Tornadus, right? We got Bleak Wind Storm to do some damage on the My Shell. We can take Speed Control if we want to. And are they going back into Kyogre? That's the real question. No, they go Flutter Me. So Flutter Me flies through here. Which is not bad. I mean, we do have a Steel Terror type, which is solid. Honestly, Bleak Wind Storm alongside with, like, Steel Terror, not bad for us. So, honestly, we just Tailwind? Let's just take Speed Control. Let's just take Speed Control and go into our Steel Terror type. I mean, I am terrified of... You know what? We're just going to protect this turn. Set up Tailwind. Actually, let's Bleak Wind Storm first. Let's do that. Let's Bleak Wind Storm first. Because we could just get a speed drop. We could just get a speed drop, let's be honest here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. And I could steal Terror type, but the thing the thing is that I'm scared of is going to be... Oh, you have Wide Guard. Oh. I'm scared of that close combat after we go into the Terror type. That's what I'm scared of. But out comes Dazzle Gleam. We definitely have to set up a Tailwind this turn. Um... We definitely have to set up Tailwind this turn. Bleak Wind Storm's going to get blocked. That really hurts. That really hurts. So I am going to go Steel Terra. I am going to set up a Tailwind. I think that can work out really well for us. And we're going to go into a Hydro Pump Steel Terra into... My Shower Flutter Man. My Shower's scary, man. It's definitely Sash, right? It's definitely Sashed. So that's something we have to watch out for. But I am just going to end up taking out the Flutter Man. Hopefully they go for another Wide Guard here. That's what I'm really hoping. Maybe I should have just went for a Bleak Wind Storm, but now was definitely the turn to set up Tailwind. So we finally use our Terror type. I do have to watch out for Kai Ogre. That Pokemon is scary. It's a scary little booger. But I am taking away my Water Terror type, or my Water Typing. Out comes another Wide Guard. We don't mind that at all. We get off Tailwind, and I'm hoping this Hydro Pump can just land and KO in one shot, right? So fingers crossed. Hydro Pump from my Palkia. Need you landing. Need you landing. I love you. This should KO. This should KO. Get it on out of here. So that's a big time KO. I believe rain ends, but they're just going to reset the rain. And at this point, I could just go for another Bleak Wind Storm if I wanted to. And we might want to. Might want to. Grass disappears as well. But we still have Chiyu in the back end. We have speed, no problem. No problem with the speed. Not a problem with the speed. And the thing is, what I think we have to do right now is just go Bleak Wind Storm and honestly double down into this thing. Because you could be going for a close combat. You could be going for a close combat. Let's be honest here. Or it could just attack you. Oh, man. I'm scared of the close combat more so than anything. I'm going to go into my shell here. He ends up just wide guarding again. Oh, man. I should just attack the Kyogre. Should have just attacked the Kyogre. Spatial Man going to fly through here. How much damage are we doing? Oh, you are not Sash. We're just KOing. Was that a crit? We don't get a crit. We just KO. So big time damage. As long as my Palkia can survive this water spout, right? As long as Palkia survives this water spout, we most likely can win this match. But I don't know, dude. Water spout some damage. That's some damage. That is some damage. Oh, it's Origin Pulse. Okay, we should be able to soak up Origin Pulse. Okay, cool. Water spout does a bit more damage, but that works out perfectly. So now I got some speed. I got Chiyu in the back end. I'm pairing up Chiyu with Palkia so I get that special... Uh, the special defense drop is going to go on to the Kai Ogre. And we should be able to just dump on this thing, right? Go Dark Pulse, Bang, and Spatial Ren follow through. 
I know it's 95 accuracy, but I have full faith in my boy. He's landing the shots today. So Dark Pulse, half in that. Space rent. Gonna finish this one up. What a good first match. Very, very solid. Very solid first match. Go into this since but me and my origin Palkia grabbing ourselves a win here in match number one. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against a team with no restricted Pokemon. They got Incineroar, they got Ogre Pond, they're also rocking out with Fluttermane, Amoongus, Golden Go, and last but not least, they do have a Dragon in it. So I don't have to worry about any weather control. I do have to, however, watch out for a little bit of speed control because they do have Fluttermane. Fluttermane's real fast with potentially Ice Wind. But honestly, this isn't a bad time for me to probably go into like Chiyu and Dock Spun and maybe just start Lava Plumin. Again, I don't think that's a bad call for us. So that is going to be my lead here. We are going to bring Origin Palkia in the back end. And last but not least, do we go Rillaboom? Or do we go in with Tornadus? Because I could just take speed and weather with Tornadus and, and uh, Palkia. That's something I actually like. So that's going to be my Pokemon. That's who I'm bringing in here. We're trying to get Lava Plumin and Well Baked Body combo going here. Match number one worked out perfectly for us. Palkia thrived out. Space Run, Hydro Pumps all day long. All day long, and I had full faith in my boy to land all the shots. We had no problem doing it. That's just that's just what we do over here. We land our shots. We land our shots. But they're gonna end up leading. Oh god, Amoongus. I hate Amoongus. And Incineroar. So Amoongus and Incineroar come out here. Um, they can put me to sleep, which is a slight issue. Slight issue. Just a tad bit of an issue. Tad bit of an issue. Um, are gonna try to go lava plume here? Do I just terrestrialize here? Into ghost. I don't think we do. I don't think he fakes out you. I think we just do this and I think we just like maybe yawn. I could honestly just go for a yawn into the thing. You know what? That's my play. You wanna put me to sleep? I'll put you to sleep. How about how about that? How about them apples? You wanna you wanna play with me? And then I'm faking out. Wow, you did fake out the Chiyu. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. And I'm gonna yawn at you. You you like put people to sleep, I'll put you to sleep. You wanna play games with me? That's fine. He's gonna go for a sport. You do end up sporing him. It's kind of. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm asleep. I should just stress slash ghost. Could have gotten off a lava plume. But I'm gonna go for another lava plume here. And I am just going to. Just gonna body press into Incineroar at this point. Chip up some damage. Amoongus, I'm hoping you stay on the field, but chances are you're going to swap. Um. All right, let's see what they end up doing here. Cause yeah, they're, they're most likely forced to swap. I hope they just stay on the field. I should put my docs to sleep. That'd be mad annoying. Cause I, I could have yawned into your Incineroar, but I chose not to. I was thinking about it because I was just like, yo, you're probably the type of person to put me to sleep all game. And now if you put my docs to sleep, my respect is out the window. I have no respect. But if you swap Amoongus or do anything else besides you spore, you gain my respect. Let's see, let's see. Cause like one or two spores throughout the match, not too bad, but when you're just spore, 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 it's a problem. So Chiyu's gonna be asleep. Let's see. Body press gonna fly out for my doggy. Doing almost half damage, which is very solid. He's just gonna end up going for a party shot in the dock spun, which is not that big of a deal. I mean, it's really only here to rock body press. It's really only here to rock, rock body press. So they lower my stats. We do half HP onto Incineroar, just about half, and they swap out. Let's see how this one plays out here and who they go into. So they're going to end up going into Ogre Pond, which is kind of annoying. And my respect's gone. Like, come on, I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance. You're going to spore me again. Like, now you go to sleep. So now we have three Pokemon to sleep on the field. Um, now it's not a bad turn for us to actually just swap to you and bring in Palkia. I mean, we resist water really, really well. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to stay in here. I'm just going to stay in here with my boy. My Dock Spun. Staying here with the Dock Spun. I know Chiyu outspeeds this uh, Ogre Pond, which is great, but I could still be asleep. I've only been asleep for one turn. I'm going to swap into Palkia here. We're going to try to get things going. They have Pokemon to sleep. And I, because we're going to fly through here, which should do negative six damage. Negative five. Awesome. Everybody going to be slumped. Getting out of hand at this point. Um, I think we have to start targeting down this Amoongus. I really do. Um, I mean, honestly, I could go for spatial run here, or I can. Yeah, we might want to target down Amoongus here, but you know what? I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna double down into into Ogre Pond at this point. Just double down into it, and you got spiky shield in this turn. I was thinking you were gonna do that too. 
I was thinking, and I swear, if this Amoongus wakes up before my Dock Spun, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be real upset. My Dock Spun woke up, but we're body pressing into this slot. Alright. Alright, alright. I understand. I'm gonna swap Dock Spun. So, he's still slumped here. Um, we could yawn into Ogre Pond here. I'm just gonna keep Dock Spun on the field. Being able to yawn and just like... Keeping control of this match is pretty solid. But what other Pokemon could they swap into? If I'm going for Spatial Run here, they could swap into Fluttermane if they have it. And there is a high chance that you do have Fluttermane. So you know what? I'm just going to Spatial Run into the slot. And honestly, I'm just going to yawn into the slot. I'm just going to yawn into the slot. You want to play Sleeps? We can play Sleeps. Of course, his, his, his boy woke up. He's going to go for Rage Battle, which is not that big of a deal. I mean, we're yawning it. I could protect next turn. Kind of, kind of feel out what we want to do here. But Spatial Run going to connect on to this thing and just crit it. Was that a crit or are you just KOing? Palkia just hits like a truck. One shot in Amoongus. Oh my lord. Now because we're going to fly her into my docks. But no problem. No problem at all. And we get off a big time yawn. So now, now how the tides have turned. Look at this. Look at this. Now your sleep Pokemon's gone. Now I'm putting you to sleep. What's good? You want, you want to play games? We can play games. We can play games all day. We can play games all day long. You want you want to play sleeps? We can play sleeps. We can play sleeps. They throw out their Dragonite. Dragonite's here to east speed. I mean, honestly, not a bad terror type here. Would be steel. And I believe they're going to Thrasilize. But honestly, I just think... You have Protect Doxbun, right? I honestly think we just double Protect and see what they want to do here. They could potentially swap out. But honestly, I think we just go... Sp I think we double down Dragonite here. Because if anything, they're going to swap out, I think. And if you don't Terrasalize this Dragonite, you're dead. So that's why we doubled down. We got Body Press flying here. And honestly, he's still just my Ivy Cudgel, my Dox Spun. But still, Ogre Pond going to sleep. We know he has Incineroar in the back end. We have Chiyu with decent speed, but his move typing is not into crazy. Spatial Run going to fly here, and you have Multi Scale. So Multi Scale helping it out tremendously. I because you're gonna fly and that is just going to dump on my boy. I'm dead there. Are you KOing my Palkia? Please don't please don't could be going for outrage. Dragon Pulse. Can you soak a Dragon Pulse? Please and thank you. Oh my god, you are so bulky. You're one bulky boy. And now we have Ogre Pine Slump. The Spatial Ren will KO this Dragonite, which is great. Um we could end up going into this Pokemon and yeah, let's do it. Going to Tornadus. So I am gonna Terrasilize Steel here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I don't want E-Speed just KOing me. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to double down with the Leaping Storm. And we'll go from there. I like it. I like it a lot. Origin Palkia, just massive. Look how big that thing is. It's so big. So our Dock Spun combo not really working too well here, considering they just, you know, double, double down on the Spores early on. But we're playing the back end really, really well with Palkia out there. Reading an Ivy Cudgel, getting it out there. And then Yawn also helping us out tremendously. So they want to put us to sleep. We'll put them to sleep right back. I play games. You know, playing games out here. Now Ogre Pond is slumped. How's it feel? And you're not even going to go for East Speed, so that's fine. I throw out just in case. I'm just going to KO you. No problem. Liquid Storm. Do some big time damage onto this Ogre Pond. And now they are going to bring out. Uh, what is that Pokemon? Incineroar. Who's at about half health. Uh, Liquid Storm does. Oh, beautiful damage. A bunch of damage. A bunch of damage. And honestly, who should I try to KO here? Because that's two turns slump for Ogre Pond, correct? Or is that one? I'm trying to remember. I think that's two. I think that's two. I wish there was like a sleep counter. I really do. Um, but from here, I mean, I can just Hydra Pump. And just go for Bleak Storm. Pretty good for us. And he's not even going to fake out. He's just going to try to attack. And we just land Hydra Pump. We say night night, and Bleakman Storm should just be able to land, finish this game off, and we should have no problem with it. Not a singular problem. Bleakman Storm, bop bop, bye bye, get it on out of here. 2 0. We are thriving out here with Origin Palkia in today's video. Moving on to our final match for today's video, we are going up against Mythical Pokemon, Deoxys, alongside with Arceus, and they also have Terrapagos, Terry the Terrapagos. Love that little Pokemon, but um, Really powerful team. Deoxys, Arceus, not Pokemon that we should mess around with. And honestly, 
we could just go into Palkia, or I kind of want to give Doxpun and Chiyu another try here. I am a little terrified of Incineroar getting the lead and just faking me out and kind of going from there. But this time, they don't have Spore, which actually works in our favor. So I'm going to go these two. I'm going to go Origin Palkia. And you know what? Screw it. Let's go Metagross here. Who knows? Maybe late in the game, we can go Palkia and Explosion Metagross. We have Telepathy. That could be awesome. I would love that. I would love to just end the game just like, hey, we're exploding with Metagross. And then just explode and finish things off. But... We'll see how that one plays out here. But I'm going to give Doxpun and Chiyu another try. Origin Palkia just being amazing today. I actually really like it. I actually really like this Pokemon. This is my first time using it. But that speed boost compared to regular Palkia is just huge. At the cost of only being able to hold one certain item. But yeah, it's huge. This Pokemon's hitting hard and it's great speed at about 170. It's just thriving out here. They're going to go end up going into both of these guys. Um, I am going to end up terrestrializing my Chiyu into... Um, I'm going to end up terrestrializing my Chiyu into straight Ghost. Uh, Kremate's kind of scaring me here, but I am just going to rock Body Press. And then just terrestrialize Ghost and go Lava Plume. Lava Plume! We're pluming with the Lavas. Let's do it. So out comes a big time Terra into Ghost. Last match, we did not learn our lesson. We should have terrestrialized last match. But now we're going to hope that same thing is happening. And they're going for the Fake Out. Into the Chiyu slot, obviously. So there's Terra type fake out into the Chiyu slot. We love it. We love it. It's a good call for us. Lava Plume flying. Well baked body out and about. Well baked body for that defense boost. We still get off a little bit of damage. Any burns on our creme? Oh, we get a burn on that on our creme. Woo! We love it. Now body press flying plus one. Super effective. Get it on out of here. Doc Spun Chiyu. I love it. I love it. Dark spun, dude. What a dog. What a dog. Light screen comes out and about a little, little scarier, but we're still throwing lava plumes and we're still just well baked body in our boy up. Dark spun, dude. Dark spun. My man. Look at him. Dark spun's so sick. I really like Fido, too. It's a uh, pre evolution. Such a cool Pokemon. It just hangs out in the bakery in Scarlet and Violet. Adorable. But Dark spun here, dude. Terry the Terrapagos comes through here. Terra Shift's gonna come through, and you know what's something that is really good for us? Is that Lava Plume goes first. So I can take out its Terra Shell ability, and I can, on top of that, get another defense boost and then body press into this. So this is good for us. This is good. NGU has Choice Scarf, so it's outspeeding everything. So they're gonna put on, I believe, a Terra Crown here. They're probably gonna take out Chiyu at this point, but you take out Chiyu. That's fine. My boy's still going to be able to hit hard. They're probably taking that Chiyu. Because Terra Star, Storm, Star Storm is going to be uh, super effective. So, Law of the Plume. Back out here. Well baked body. Boosting up again. We love it. Burn on the Alcrimmon. Give me a burn on Terry. Burn on Terry. Chiyu's Lava Plume. Thriving today. Thriving. Body press. Almost. <laughs> See you later. Almost. And Terra Star Storm flies. This combo is just ripping. I love, I love, uh, Doxpun's typing, too. It's just straight, straight fairy. He's gonna end up decorating here, which is no problem. I mean, I just protect Doxpun and Burn just KOs you. That's cool. Burn actually might KO the Terrapicos here. If not, it's leaving it all 1 HP. Honestly, I outspeed you. There's just Lava Plume's KO. This is gonna be, this has a high chance of sweeping. We have a high sweep chance in this battle. High sweep chance coming out here. The so Burn's gonna chip up. He's gonna KO Terry. It does not. But again, we outspeed and you have no first turn priority move. So, I mean, just going into another Lava Plume and Body Press into this slot is just going to be perfect. That's the play, yo. Dox Bungie, you killing it. He ends up just withdrawing Terry. The Terry withdraws. I mean, whatever Pokemon he brings in, I could just straight up protect. And you're going to go into Arceus, which I wish I would have just Body Pressed in that slot. Lava Plume flying. Well, big body plus four in the defense. This thing's killing it. This thing's killing it. We double down in the Alcrime, so we can get rid of that. Say bye bye to you. We're still thriving. We're still thriving. No burn on Arceus, so. That would be an awesome burn. Let's burn this Pokemon. But I do get back some nice HP. Dog Spun. Leftovers. Thriving here. Defense is crazy boosting. And hopefully they throw out the Oxus. I kind of want to see that. But no, they go back into Terry. They go back into Terry, which is a bad idea because I just get to body press you. And I also get to go into another lava pool. We outspeed. There's no need to go into protect. 
be outspeed unless Arceus is Choice Scarf, which I highly doubt. Oh, or you have Extreme Speed, but we're Ghost type anyway. And that does like no damage because we're defensive bulked. Well, big body. It's not affecting us. And are we plus six? It goes up plus two every time? That's awesome. I thought it was only plus one. We're plus six on defense. This game's over. This is this game's wraps. Body press gonna KO you all day. See you later. Get on out my face. Get on out of here, Arceus. Who wins? Pokey God? Or Bakery Dog? Let me know in the comment section down below. But that's game. Oh, I thought they had one more Pokemon, but GG's. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, a 3-0 perfect record rocking out with Origin Palkia. And this team, let me tell you guys, is phenomenal. Origin Palkia outspeeding a lot, hitting real hard with its high special attack. On top of that, getting a 20% boost on dragon and water moves due to its lustrous globe item. GU Doxmon got some love, and we did not get to use Metagross, but still, this team was phenomenal. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.